15 daily do's and don'ts to avoid bad breath. Bad breath is a very touchy and personal question. Oh, oh my God, Dad! Nobody wants to discuss it willingly, but what is left to do if there is a date or an important business meeting pending? Time to face the music. Dental hygiene is important, but brushing your teeth twice a day and chewing gum may not be enough. Even after such daily routine, you may still have bad breath. But wait, no need to panic just yet. There are scientifically proven cases of what may be the reasons behind bad breath. Let's find the root of the problem. We at Brightside have done some research and put together a list of dental hygiene do's and don'ts. Perhaps all you need to do is to adjust just one or two of your habits. Number 15. Drink plenty of water. Water is never a bad idea. A sufficient amount of water stimulates the flow of your saliva and helps to avoid dehydration, which is often a reason for halitosis. That's how scientists call bad breath. Here is some simple and unusual advice. Make it a habit to have a few sips of water every time someone calls your name at school or work. Number 14. Don't drink too much coffee. Coffee, this liquid of life. We know that a sip of it seems vitally important in the morning, but don't be too keen on this drink. Did you know that caffeine can slow down saliva production and therefore dry out your mouth? This will lead to that breath odor. It's better to drink a cup of tea during your lunch and dinner. One more piece of advice for spicy food lovers. Sipping green tea can also help to neutralize the scent of garlic. No more tough choices between enjoying your favorite dish or an embarrassment-free talk with the boss. Number 13. Clean your dentures. Caring for your dentures is as important as caring for your teeth, so you should treat them accordingly. Practice the same oral hygiene that you would with your original teeth. Make a habit of cleaning them at night to get rid of bacterial buildup from food. Number 12. Remember to floss after every meal. This is dental floss. Yeah, you should neglect your gums. Any food particles which stay in between your teeth for too long a time act in the same way as if you left your trash bin full. They stink. The bacteria from food go deep below the gum line and may lead not only to bad breath, but also to an infection. That's why flossing is no less important than brushing your teeth. What is more, it helps to remove the plaque which potentially leads to the decay of your teeth and the disease of your gums. Besides, it's not a big deal, just a couple of minutes, but the result is worth the time you spend on this process. Number 11. Change your toothbrush every three months. Just counted brush strokes. All right, who just said a herald just counted brush strokes? Time flies when we are busy, and we may not notice how quickly our toothbrush gets old. An old toothbrush may be as unsafe to use as simply adding more bacteria to your mouth. So change your toothbrush regularly. Do it once every three or four months, depending on how frayed the bristles are. This time may vary. For example, if you wear brackets, it will happen sooner. Remember one more essential thing. Change your toothbrush after a bout of the flu, so you don't bring those old germs back to your body again. Number 10. Do not neglect your tongue. When you brush your teeth in the morning, remember to clean your tongue with the tongue scraper. You won't believe it, but it has been shown to reduce odor by up to as much as 70%. How about this recommendation that can make your life much simpler? To kill two birds with one stone, 
you can get a toothbrush with a tongue and cheek cleaner on the back. Number 9. Go for alcohol-free mouthwash. Many brands of mouth rinse contain up to 27% of alcohol in their ingredients. It dries out your mouth. As a result, as we have already learned, it brings an unpleasant smell after that minty freshness wears off within an hour. Another danger of mouthwash containing alcohol can appear if it is used by teenagers. Let's admit it, everybody accidentally swallows a bit or more of this liquid from time to time. But for school children, it's not only unpleasant, but also unhealthy. So, next time you shop for mouthwash, check the label thoroughly to make sure alcohol is not listed. By the way, pay attention to the fact that mouthwash containing chlorhexidine may also stain your teeth over time. Number 8. Avoid sugar mints. Sugar is normally added to the mints people are so eager to take after a meal. You do so to freshen your breath and you think that you've done the right thing. But unfortunately, the situation is quite the contrary. Sugar in these mints is exactly what helps the bacteria in your mouth to grow. An acid formed as a result is proved to eat away your teeth surface. How terrible is that? It might also make your bad breath worse once the gum or mint is gone. Thus, we can conclude that sweetened fresheners are not for the long run and are better off left out of your mouth. If you must use mints, opt for the sugar-free type. Number 7. Be aware of the medication you are taking. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. Such medications as antidepressants, painkillers and antihistamines may suppress saliva flow and can be the reason for a chronic dry mouth. So, remember to ask your doctor about the side effects of any prescribed medications. Number 6. Check for tonsil stones. If you are not aware, Tonsil stones are a mix of debris and bacteria that sit in the back of the throat. They look like white spots or bumps and smell nasty. You might have never heard of them, but in fact, they are pretty common. For example, research conducted in France has shown that more than 6% of all the examined patients suffered from this problem, and that's a lot. To prevent them from happening, make sure you follow a proper hygiene routine and visit your dentist regularly. If you've gotten to know that you already have them, your further course of actions will depend on the size of the stones. Salted water gargling, using cotton swabs, drinking lemon juice, or eating raw garlic can help with small tonsil stones. However, if they are big, there's nothing to do but rely on medical treatment. Number five, watch your scales. getting fatter. We can't stop it. Get out of here. Another risk factor for halitosis is obesity. Tel Aviv University researchers have published a study that has found a direct link between being overweight and having bad breath. The more obese you are, the more likely your breath will not be as pleasant as you'd like. What is the connection? It probably depends on the diet of people with excess weight. It may promote dry mouth condition. Number four, say no to a low-carb diet. If you were any thinner, you wouldn't exist. Those who are keen on Atkins and low-carb diets will recognize the word ketosis. This is a process which forces the body to burn stored fats and proteins for energy due to the lack of carbs. The thing is that if your diet is too strict, your body will start to produce such chemicals as ketones. They are released in your breath, and exactly this process causes odor. So, just to sweeten the pill, if your breath stinks while you are following the Atkins diet, you're probably doing it very well.
Number three, reconsider your smoking habit. All the sources of mass media keep telling everybody who's ready to listen that smoking causes cancer and fatally damages the lungs. But this danger seems vague and distant, so not every person is ready to give up a cigarette with a cup of morning coffee. What if the problem caused by smoking was more tangible? Did you know that it can result in damaged gums, stains on the teeth, and bad breath? Smoking dries out your mouth, while nicotine tends to squeeze blood vessels. As a result, you don't receive a healthy amount of saliva. It's not too difficult to quit this habit with a bit of extra incentive. Try using nicotine patches at first, or visit your doctor to ask for their recommendations. The hardest is to start. Number two, eat more apples and other healthy food. When you crunch celery, apples, carrots, or similar food, it removes the remains of food stuck between the teeth. What is more, it rids them of bacteria that live on them. One more benefit is the fact that these products are very low in calories and rich in vitamins. So, you can eat as much as you wish and not worry about gaining a couple of extra pounds. Number one, visit your doctor. If you have tried everything, followed all the recommendations, but bad breath still bothers you, probably it's time to visit the doctor. Your condition might be caused by some illness, for example, a problem with the stomach. Do you follow all these recommendations? Or maybe you have some advice of your own. Share your ideas and opinions in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video. If it gathers 50,000 likes, we will tell you about 10 unusual ways to whiten your teeth. Click subscribe to join us on the bright side.